take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and calm. And as you exhale, just allow feelings of worry, stress or tension to start to leave your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in, just imagine you're breathing in a wonderful feeling of resourcefulness. That resourcefulness represents whatever you need most right now. Maybe that would be strength, calmness. Maybe what you need most right now is self-acceptance. Or maybe even self-love. But I want you to imagine as you breathe in these wonderful resources, whatever the opposite is, of these resources, allow it to leave your body. If you're breathing in love, then breathe out hate. If you're breathing in acceptance, breathe out any feelings of obligation, commitments that are unnecessary and unuseful. Just allow yourself to breathe in wonderful resources and let go of those things that have been holding you back. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to imagine what it would have been like to have been wealthy in history. Not an average amount of wealth. I want you to imagine what it would have been like almost a thousand years ago to be the richest person in the world. As you breathe in and breathe out, just use the power of your imagination to imagine the kingdom of Mali. All the way back from 1312 to 1337 the ruler of the wealthiest empire in Africa was Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa was renowned for his immense wealth. And I want you to imagine what it would be like to be the richest person in the world back then. You can imagine a palace there in Mali full of luxury full of impressive ostentatious elegant things that are a symbol of this vast wealth because back then Mali was the primary source of gold in the world. And the region of Mali was rich in gold mines. Back then, Europe and Africa and Asia weren't aware of the vast golds in South America. So at this point in history, Mali with its extensive gold mines was the primary producer of wealth. Because at that time in history, gold was considered hard money, real money.
many of the empires of that time would have coins and currency backed backed by the value of real gold but Mansa Musa was the emperor of the country that produced more gold than any other country so I want you to imagine in your wonderful palace so many gold things a vase could be made of gold any furnishings sculptures because what creates value quite often is scarcity and in many parts of the world gold was scarce but for Mansa Musa gold was in abundance and I want you to tap into that wonderful feeling of abundance of having way more than you need and you can imagine gold the finest clothes a luxurious palace with landscaped gardens it was expensive to move water around but being the richest person in the world Mansa had pools could irrigate tropical trees and I want you to get a sense of wandering around your beautiful palace but what made Mansa Musa famous beyond his home country of Mali was his pilgrimage to Mecca Muslims will often even just once in their life take a pilgrimage to Mecca but Mansa Musa was no ordinary individual he was the richest person in the world there was no private jets to fly Mansa Musa from Mali to Mecca it required an expedition Mansa Musa on his way to Mecca had a huge following of assistants companions a fleet of camels carrying all of the supplies he would need but because Mansa Musa had so much wealth on his journey to Mecca having all of that abundance led to feelings of generosity imagine being so wealthy that you could just commission the construction of huge buildings like mosques or educational institutions the schools of the time this was a long journey the caravan the camels carried vast amounts of gold and luxury goods and gifts but along the journey hundreds and hundreds of miles imagine how it would feel to give so much of it away you could give a life-changing amount of money for something that seemed simple 
changing the life of that person you gave the money to. It wasn't just Mansa that looked so rich and wealthy. All of the entourage was adorned with exquisite clothing, accessories made of fine fabrics, gold and precious gemstones. On his journey, he gave away such gold that it created inflation in the cities and towns that he passed through, enabling ordinary people to be super wealthy and rich of their time. And I want you to imagine arriving at Mecca in this place of pilgrimage and being open to ideas. I want you to imagine how you would think if you had access to all this wealth and abundance, but perhaps how it could change your life when you return to the present. I'm going to give you a series of powerful hypnotic suggestions and I want you to repeat them in your own mind in the first person to get a sense of what it would be like to think and feel like the richest person in the world. I am abundant and wealthy beyond measure. My wealth flows to me effortlessly, just as gold flowed into the Mali Empire. I have a powerful mindset that attracts prosperity and abundance into my life. Imagine moving from wherever you Imagine you are right now into the living quarters that you are just there for the pilgrimage. Imagine a beautiful bedroom, perhaps a bed with silk sheets and just imagine lying on that bed with your mind open to new ways of thinking. You embrace opportunities to grow your wealth and create prosperity in all areas of your life. You are worthy of great wealth and success. You are a magnet for wealth, attracting limitless abundance into your life. Mansa Musa had vast amounts of wealth, but wasn't afraid to give it away, to have an impact on the wider world. And you are able to activate generosity within you, with a mindset focused on expansion, prosperity, and financial freedom. Feel what it would feel like to feel the silk sheets on your skin, feeling like you're back there in time, the richest person in the world, as you accept that your wealth increases exponentially, multiplying like the gold mines of the Mali Empire. You are a wise and strategic investor making smart financial decisions that can yield great returns. You are confident in your abilities to create wealth and use it to make a positive impact in the world. And sometimes a reputation can open new doors to new opportunities 
as you effortlessly attract lucrative opportunities that align with your passion and your purpose. Imagine leaving the bed and swimming into a luxurious pool surrounded by tall palm trees. You are confident in your abilities to create vast wealth and you have a deep understanding of the value you bring to the world and you are generously rewarded for it. Each day, slowly but surely, you will think more abundantly and release any limiting beliefs about money and wealth. And you are open to receiving wealth from multiple sources. Your wealth grows and expands with every passing day, just as the Mali Empire flourished under Mansa Musa. You are surrounded by an abundance of resources and opportunities to create wealth but also grateful for the wealth that flows into your life, using it wisely, responsibly, but also generously. You radiate confidence and success, attracting prosperity and fortune effortlessly. Mansa Musa was responsible for a nation and you accept that the more responsibility you can handle the more you can amplify the principles of wealth you are a visionary leader making bold moves and creating a legacy of wealth and abundance You attract values and the equivalent of gold flowing into your life, knowing that wealth has the power to uplift and inspire others. I want you to imagine it's time to leave Mecca, your huge caravan, camels, assistants, entourage all returning back to your palace in Mali. You feel that this trip to Mecca has been a life-changing experience, inspiring you to be even more generous, but also maximize the resources and opportunities in your own kingdom. Your own kingdom doesn't have to be Mali or own kingdom is you, the resources you have, the knowledge you've acquired, the skills that you're competent in. And from this point onwards, you will maximize the value, the power of harnessing the resources of your kingdom. Imagine many weeks has passed and you return to your palace feeling transformed, feeling open-minded and feeling that even more abundance will be magnetized into your life. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose and imagine leaving the body of Mansa Musa. Maybe there's a large mirror and you can see yourself back then in this palace in the kingdom of Mali. Feeling what it would feel like to be back there in history. And feeling like you have unlocked the very resources of the richest and wealthiest person to have ever lived. And to unlock those resources within you. 
And as you accept that, return to the present. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. That this journey in time and insight will enable more wealth to be attracted to you and for you to feel infinitely more abundant. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.